guys, Lego Master here. Happy Thanksgiving. And today, I have Pieces of History, Part 2, featuring M.R. Newton. Say hi. So, Mason is going to be in this video, and he really likes this series, so I thought, why shouldn't he just be in one of the videos in this series? So, yeah, he's been requesting it for a long time. Piggy Snowed has been requesting it for a long time. I've had a lot of people requesting this video. So, let me just tell you guys a little bit about these artifacts. These are from the first time I ever went metal detecting. First time. How long ago was that? Um, three years ago. Oh, wow, that is a long time. And I just found these. In my grandma's basement, because I, like I said in my last video of Pieces of History, I love to go metal detecting with my grandpa. He knows a lot about history, and he has a metal detector that he knows a lot about how to use a metal detector, and he's showing me how to use a metal detector. What? I know you know a lot about history, too. Yes, so... These items I found where a, there was a house. There was a house at. So, we've got several different items. We have, right here, we have a brick from a house. We have a pipe, like a pipe that people smoked a long time ago. Clay pipe. And that's a handmade pipe. And... Some nails. Now, you may be thinking, these are just any old, regular nails. Well, do you want to tell them the special part about them, Mason? You can. Oh, okay. It's your video. You can do whatever you want. They are handmade blacksmith's nails from, like, 100 or 200 years... 200, 300 years ago. They're really old. So... Let's start with the first item, this, this brick. So, you might be thinking, why isn't it red or pink? You might think it's just dirt all over it, but no. This is how bricks looked a long time ago. They looked brownish tan. They were made of clay and straw and stuff. Yeah. Like that. They made them out of almost any natural resource. I mean, sand, wood, anything. They just mixed water with it and let it dry for a couple days. And then built whatever. Mm. Not, isn't it? That's really not. So, then, there's this pipe. Whoops, sorry about that. My camera fell. This is a handmade pipe. I mean, you look, it doesn't look like it was made by a factory or anything because they didn't have factories. Everybody either bought their pipes from England or handmade them. This is handmade. It's white clay. And then we have the blacksmith nails. Yes. Yeah. I have two whole nails and then two parts of the nails. I could not find the rest of the smaller nails and no, they do not fit together. I tried to see if they fit back together, but they didn't. So, these look really weird. Back a long time ago when these were first made, they looked very nice and shiny and they were perfectly straight and so and like a cylinder shape well after being in the ground for about 200 years 
I mean, earth, ground, wind, water, it just, the natural elements, it takes its toll on artifacts that have just been sitting for a long time. So, still, I think these are really cool items. And that's all that I have for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. MR Newton, thank you for being in this video. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. And remember, give thanks no matter who it is, whether you like them or not, you just remember to give thanks. That's right, Mason. So, remember that. Remember what Mason said to no matter who it is, whether you're friends with them or not, give thanks. Give a reason why you're happy to what you're happy for. So thank you all for watching and have a great day. Have a happy Thanksgiving. I know that's something that I don't say often, but just have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.